Hello everybody and this is me again. This is the second video related to storyboard and navigation using Xcode. Okay. Uh, in the previous video what we've done, we've created an app that uses the, uh, it has buttons and have view, view controller and you click on it, it presents these view controller using the modal method and same thing with this one. And we use the unwind segue to return back. Well, there's another way to do this using the navigation controller that is available for us uh, with Xcode. The navigation controller, is you can do it in two ways. One way is that you use the navigation controller and then you just simply drag it onto your storyboard. Okay. And what is a navigation controller? A navigation controller is basically, think about it as a stack of view controller. Every time you want to present something, this view controller is pushed on the stack of this navigation controller. So you can have many navigation controllers on top of each other. And every time you want to go back, you pop those view controllers from the, the stack. But the navigation controller keeps tracks of all those view controllers that are being presented. The navigation controller must have a root view controller. It's like you're starting a view controller. And in this case, once we dragged it, it gave me one already here. But what if I have my own? I don't want this one related to this view controller. So I'm going to take select this guy and delete it. Okay. And I can say, okay, now because I have my own, I will say this is view controller is the one that I will use as my root view controller. And the way you do it, you right click and say root view controller. Okay. And now this becomes my view controller. And I have my starting point. Now my starting point is not this anymore. My starting point is this. Okay. Well, this is one way to do it. The other way, I'm going to delete this view controller and I'm going to still this make this is my starting point. This view controller as, as my initial view controller. The other way you do it is that you select the view controller and then under editor, you say embed in navigation controller. So now this is, have my, this is my navigation controller and this is the root view controller for the navigation controller. And this is my starting point, okay? Now notice when I did that, it added something called a navigation bar. The navigation bar hides some of my screen. So I'm gonna move these all, I'm gonna move these controllers down below, okay? These controls. Now, a navigation controller can have a title. So if I say main screen here, main menu. This would be the title of my screen. All right. Now the, just like we did with the model, you can have also segues. These segues actually right now they use model. But with, uh, with a navigation controller, you have another way to do it using the push okay, method. Now, I'm going to delete them, and then I'll show you how we do it. But you don't have to delete them. You can just change them from here. Okay, you can say push from here. But I want to delete them to show you. Okay, if we, if we don't have them, how would you do it? So what do you do? You start again from here to here, and then you get the push method. Okay, the action segue is the push now. Same thing with this one. You do uh, push here again. Just like we did with the other one, you have to give them name if you want to access those segways or this navigation controller. So you say here, uh, scene, remember this was called scene one. Okay, this is called scene one, and this is called scene, scene two. Now, if you run it, when he did that, notice what happened also. It gave me a navigation bar on top of these. Both of these, I got a navigation bar. So what I'm gonna do, I can give it names here, titles, okay? Scene one, and then this is, again, the navigation controller called navigation bar, scene two, title. Now, if we run it, watch what, now watch what will happen. Now, this is my navigation bar on the first screen. When I click on this, all right, we did not give an uh, all right. I think one of them did not set the scene uh, segue identifier. So I'm gonna copy this, okay? Make sure that we set it properly. 
we go to here, let's make a storyboard, make sure that we have a name for this. See, we didn't have a name for this guy. I didn't hit the enter. Okay, now if we do run it again, you do this, you got the navigation bar, and then you got the back button. That's the default. Uh, the, the default, the back button actually is the name, the title that you have in this navigation bar. What if you didn't have one? It will be just the back, okay? And notice we have a problem here. So what I'm gonna do, let's solve those issues. First, if you didn't have that, it'll be just back. And then in the second screen here, notice I have these, the navigation bar is already hiding some of the controls. Now run it, you'll see what will happen here. Back, because I don't have title in the first screen. Back, I don't have title in the first screen, all right? But it still fires the segue. That means if I have information, if I have information here, if I type in scene one, it's being passed. Why is it being passed? Because those segues that, that prepare being that prepare for segue, this method is actually being called. Uh, and because I use the same name as we in the previous example, it says, okay, if you, if the segue name is this, then create uh, get access to this view controller, and then what assign the property. Okay. Let's go back to the main storyboard. How about these, these uh, unwinding segue? Well, we don't need them anymore here. Why? Because I don't need them because I already have the back buttons already provided for me by the navigation controller. Okay, so no need for those anymore. All right, how about the other part? Now, what can you, can you add your own buttons here? Yes, you can. For example, you can add a button here I'll, we'll, do add, we'll add two buttons here. One button in the main screen, just for information. And to add a button, you can have your own button on these navigation bars. And to add a button, there is something called bar, uh, bar button item. So you can do drag it and drop it here. This has become just regular, like a regular button. You can have the identifier, for example, you can assign it, for example, the plus if you want. Uh, I don't think there's one for info, but um, you can do, uh, there is no, okay, there is no info, but you can add your own title. So let's say I, I want, instead of uh, identifier, custom, I make it custom, and I'll make it here, info, okay? All right, of course you can provide your own image. If you want to have your own image, you can make, you design an image and include it here. All right, uh, now, how about the action for this button? You can add an action just like you did with the other one, with other regular buttons. So you can do, if you click on code assist, now this is my actions here. I can do what? I can right click here and drag in here and I give it a name, display, and details or info. Okay. And it is what it is. An, uh, oh, wait a minute. We didn't do it properly. Okay. It should, we need to click on this guy here. Okay. And it should be an action. And I'm going to call it display info. Okay. And we click on connect. All right, what can we do in this method? You can do whatever you want. You can be calling, you can do whatever programming you want. Just simple, just like a regular button. Now, but you just say, if I want to add display, uh, uh, you can just print line, just to show you. This is my navigation app. Now, of course, you can do alert view, whatever. Okay, maybe we'll do alert to view instead of this. Uh, so you say, all right, uh, let a equal UI alert view. And then you can select this one here. And then this alert view can say, hello. And the message would say navigation. Nav app, just a simple stuff to just show you. And the delegate is nil. And the cancel button, which is 
uh, we're gonna make it okay, but the title is okay. After you do this, you say a dot show. Okay. Now, if I run it, when I click on this, I get the alert. I get that alert to you. Hit okay. You're done. Now, the last thing I want to show you is that what if you want to have your own back button? Well, if I want to have my own back button, I do the same thing here. I click and go back to the bar type items and then add it here. And we will say it's uh, plain, we say custom, and then you can do an action for this view controller. Now the view controller for this is, I already have something called handle back. What if I don't have it? I'll just delete it to show you. I just simply click on this, and we're gonna call this instead of item, we're gonna call it back. Okay, and then I'll do right click here, drag it, it's an action, the title, handle back, go back, for example, and then you click on connect. Now, what do you do in this? Let's just go back to this one, this is scene one. What do you do? You need to pop the view controller, and the way you do it, you say self, you're accessing the navigation controller, navigation controller, because I have a navigation controller for this class, and then I say, pop view controller. You can do pop to root view controller or to a specific view controller if you want to, or you can do what? Just remove yourself, which is this one here. Okay, and then you say true to be animated. Okay, now if we run it, then watch what happens. You'll say uh, scene one, back, done. Okay, and for hello. All right, all right. If you want to do uh, an alert to view, you can do. Well, you can do just like we did here. You can do a lot more things than just popping the uh, view controller. So you can be doing some cleanup if you want to here. All right. So that's it related to the navigation view controller in the second video. In the third video, what I'll show you is that how, what if you have, you don't want to use a navigation controller. You want, you have a view controller and you want to present it without Segway. So you have it in the storyboard, but you want to present it without using segues. All right. I'll hope to see you on the next video.